your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch. That bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What in the hell is going on? I don't know, but the person ringing that bell might be doing us a favor. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Kenny, man, I don't think so. Maybe we need to come up with a new plan. This is the plan! It's the only one we've got, and you pissing on it in front of everyone like you did back at the house ain't exactly helping. Well, screw you. I ain't giving up that easy. This one might still be salvageable. Kenny, get a grip. This boat is totally fucked. Oh, yeah? Know a lot about boats, do you? Tell you what, if I ever need an expert opinion on American history or on committing murders, I'll be sure to ask. But how about you leave the nautical shit to me? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. like the whole city has been boarded up for all the good it did. What the hell are these markings? They're all over the place. Great. Needs a quarter to work.
looks like it's still intact. What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hull's cracked beneath the waterline, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Uh, maybe he's just another scavenger like us. Yeah, and maybe he ain't. Maybe he's that fucker on the radio who's been messing with Clementine's head. Don't you want to know? Because I want to know. Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. Just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're going to talk. from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Mind if I get up? Slowly. Everything beyond that barricade. What the hell happened here? Are you sure you want to know? 
When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive. Stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't or can't live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived. While the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. been ringing those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raise the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the area as they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. Yeah, that was pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast. Get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? We're just trying to survive, same as you. And the only way we're gonna survive is by getting on a boat and getting the hell out of here. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Just wait. Isn't that the... Gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... Hey, you just gonna leave us here? Sorry, I must have missed that part of our conversation where you became my problem. Don't leave us here, please. <sighs> Come on, make it fast. Get your ass out of there! Ah. 
Here, use that to pry it open. 